like uh, I, I think if we we talk about AI, um, I'd split it into two. One is kind of use cases for the customer, and one is kind of use cases more operationally and and internally. If I talk about use cases for for the customer when it comes to well tech, I think there's a lot of things that are being done around kind of um, alerts, market sentiment, uh, being able to do research through leveraging the AI tools to understand, okay, what are possibly good companies to invest in? And that's one area uh, that's being explored when it comes to, to AI and well tech. And, and then, how could you trust that though at the same time if you were using that as a, let's take myself and I wanted to research from some top companies to invest, that's going to scrape everything. How do I, how do I trust that data, do you think? Uh, I, I think at the end of the day, it's similar to, to the web in general, right? So so you need to make sure that you ask the right prompt. You can ask for the sources if you want to quality check where those data are coming from to make sure that the sources are valuable. Similar to how when you navigate the internet, you should also still kind of check the quality of those data and the sources from where you're reading. You should kind of do the same when it comes to AI. Or if you're using a tool that's already been vetted to have done all of those quality control checks and so on, then as trust builds, you can start trusting a bit this data uh, and this information you're getting more. And do you think it will move into like all the talks around like AI in your pocket? So you use a particular wealth management platform or something new comes along and it picks up the, your, your trends, your patterns, where you like to invest or whatever, and you'll get those notifications straight away and you'll, it'll all be seamless. You'll like press a button and it'll do it all for you. Do you think that's where it is uh, going? I, I think the personalization can come towards the, the recommendation um, as you mentioned, understanding what kind of customers they they are, what do they like to invest in, coming up with recommendation. But are you going to automate this final decision making? There's obviously platforms that do that and then invest it for you based on maybe your risk profile. And this goes to the personalization of the portfolio that's the creation. But then it can, as you said, create some sort of alert and provide with you information. I think this is something that's been done even before AI, right? Mm -hmm. You already have some alert system that showcases price movements of certain yeah. stocks that you put in your watches and that you want to to monitor uh, when it goes below a certain price point. There's also kind of featured lists that you can see people who also own similar stocks, right? If you own, let's say, Apple, what are stocks that also people who own Apple own? So there's already been things that have been done without the use of AI. I think AI can just help to push it to, to kind of a next level of, of personalization and, and user experience.